Often in embroidery patterns, you will see in the instructions where it's talking about the thread to stitch, it will say something like two strands or three strands. So what that means is the number of pieces of string you're gonna be stitching with. So normal embroidery floss, that's the most common thing to be stitching with, when it comes off the skein, it actually comes in six strands. And so that means there are six little pieces of string that are wound together to make it up. And normally you don't stitch with all six strands together. The most common would be two strands or three strands, but there are lots of different variations. But to use this, however many you're gonna use, so if I was gonna use three strands, I would hold the end, kind of separate them so I can see, and then one at a time, pull them out. So there's one, two, three. So now I have three strands. So I will take these strands that I'm going to stitch and then I will just align them together. And now I can thread the needle with that and use this as my string for stitching. And by separating them at one at a time, it eliminates um, some of the knotting that might happen if you just pull the ends and try and pull it apart. And it will also help them lay smoother because they've been separated. So now that I have this, I can thread my needle and I'm ready to begin stitching. For more tips about working with embroidery floss, check out my other video. And for more embroidery tutorials and inspiration, be sure to check out ebitastudio.com. Thank you.